Dude. Welcome back to Paper Mario on the Millennium Door in the last part. We freed all the Jabbies from jail because they broke the bank. You know, because they were bad. They were bad little punnies and I had to punish them. In this episode, we're actually going to see if we can progress further down into this great Jehoshaphat tree. Apparently, Flurry's blowing all over the place because she's this creepy little wind spirit that's suggestive and everything. Apparently, we're missing a couple of punnies down there, but that doesn't really matter because they're stupid as they all get out. Let's go ahead and get them. Basically, what we're going to do is actually get those punnies down in that pipe over there. These guys are just a bunch of the retards that got left behind, but that's okay. It's okay, because I, I, can, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. All right, so now we got to break the bank right here and push them down this hole. And apparently, I'm missing two punnies. What the hell? I'm just going to pretend like you all registered right. Whoa, I actually blew them all down in the... In, right... Awesome. Okay, let's all go down the pipe. Whee! Thank God this is going correctly, otherwise I'd be ticked. Alright, so I think we got a couple of enemies down here we're going to be careful about. At least these don't scare off the punnies, I don't believe. Also, we got a new ability in battle that we can use, the spin jump. This is a mushroom right here, but we're not going to bother with that. This is The spin jump came with the uh, new boots that we got. It uses 2 FP, and you can all, it does more damage than the normal jump does. Also, with this power-up, it normally will do th 2 damage per hit. So it's actually your best option instead of the hammer now. So you're basically going to be using your spin jump more often than your... Uh, well, not your spin jump, but your average jump over the hammer because it's more powerful. So... Alright, now that I've explained that and gone through that tedious battle, we'll actually go keep going down a little bit. Because, you know, we like to keep going down. Uh, is there- Oh my god, there's a yucks! There's a yucks! Please don't hit me! You will die! Oh my god, there's three of them? What?! You yucks. Okay, let's keep uh, seeing if there's anything in these bushes right here. Is there a president in my bush? Is there a bush in my underwear? No, there is not. Please don't be offended by that. <laughs> okay, um, the thing about the freaking boots right here is that if you spin jump in random areas, you'll actually be able to flip tiles and they'll also uncover star pieces. So that's something you want to be very careful of. Make sure you check mysterious looking areas and use this random attack in areas that you're not 100% sure on. So we got a bit of a platforming right here. We're gonna not screw this up, hopefully. Oh god, I don't want to screw this up. Uh, if you go on this pipe right here, switch out to Coops. I need to figure out which button this is because I don't want to keep doing that. I think it's the right one, right? No. Is it left? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, you can actually do a quick command by using a uh, control D-pad button. I don't give a crap what it is. So we're going to go over here. And doing this is a little bit of puzzle right here. So you see a switch over there. You push this button. It goes down. So what you have to do, use Coop's hold ability. And then you, now you can hit the freaking switch when it comes up. And glitch, Coop's will glitch out right there. But happiness will come, because water will come down, and that sounds really suggestive, but I don't care. Because happy days. Saturdays. Yeah. But tell me, that does not look badass, right? That, that, that looks so badass. Uh, there's also a treasure chest right here. The Shrink Stomp, that'll shrink your opponents, basically hindering their attack and defense, I believe. I'm not really sure if their defense gets hindered, I think it's just their attack. They become tiny in battle, and their attack goes down. So, yes, that's how that works. I'm not going to put it on, though, because, you know, <laughs> I don't really like it. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this shine sprite right here, let Coops fall in the water here like a complete moron, and we will keep progressing downwards. I don't believe there's actually any uh, hidden star pieces in the Great Tree, although I could be completely wrong on that, but whatever. Oh, this special panel can hold up to 100 punies. What the frick? Well, punnies or 101. I, I don't know. I can't count. You people should know me. I can't count. I can't speak right. And you plus the punny orb. Um, what? Oh no, what's happening? Stuff's going down, son! That's us, so... Okay. What's going on? What's going on? I don't feel comfortable in the mouth. So that's how you get to this room. Wait, wait, you knew that this room existed. You knew that this room existed, but you didn't know how to get to it? How? 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 Now, brown cow? 
Uh, we got another mushroom. Wow, we got every mushroom color of the rainbow. Jeez. Um, we already got a couple of mushrooms. I don't think I need that one. Wait, do I? I think I got, um... I think I got, um, stuff. I think I can use this on, like, Flurry or something. Yeah, Flurry needs a mushroom. Go ahead and give that to her. Very good. Now we can actually pick up this mushroom. So, as you can plainly see right here, we have a coin block, I mean a heart block, and a save block right here. So, yes, we're definitely going to use both of them because they're right there. They're provided by the game. Why would you not use it, you silly? Hmm, let me see. That thing's got to be around here somewhere. B -b What's that? Wow! Sounds like a mob. I better clear out. Well, you're afraid of people, but you aren't af What? What? <laughs> yeah, it looks like he was looking so hard, pacing back and forth like that, yeah. Wow, what a neat, nice cathedral. Holy crap, man. Although the music does take away from that effect, but whatever. I'm going to pretend like it increases the effectness. Okay. So now that we're done screwing around in this room, checking all the bushes out, we shall now place our punny orb. Epic cheese is going down, son! Mario, look! Look, look, look! It's the Crystal Star! Ah, nobody saw that coming. What, did he just... What's going on here? <laughs> Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? No, you, you know, you're pretty bad, honestly. Oh, you say you need a crystal star, like girl? Boom! Falls right in my lap. You look like Wario with those stubby legs. I doubt you even have a lap. Still, this is humiliating. I couldn't have... I sh I sh you shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. Well, I went Super Saiyan and then I defeated it, so whatever. So, for insulting my awesome trap, I'm going to repay you with a little present. You know what it is? A gun rack? You hick. Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. A A R T B A D. I don't know, I felt like abbreviating that for some reason. A R T D B. Sounds like something, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna use this to bury you in those squirmy ponies and rubble. Sound fun? No, not really. Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. Well, that pow, I'm gone. What? What, what, what? 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 Did he just say, eek, we have to get the heck out of here. Oh, God. Run, run. I hate time challenges in video games. That's not cool. And the counter even counts down during scene transitions. What the heck? What? Enemies. We have to fight enemies? Enemies? And we can't run away? Oh, this is this just sucks. Fine. I like how the timer's even going... The timer music's actually going on during the freaking fight. You cannot take your time during this fight. You have to keep going, man. We have to keep going. Oh, and he even has a stopwatch. Why does he have a stopwatch? Why did I use... Why did I attack the one behind him and not the one in front of him? I don't know. Oh, great. Now I'm immobilized. Now he's going to power himself up and waste more time. Yippee. He's doing his job pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. And now he's gonna flatten me like a pancake. Ouch. That that hurt. Okay, one jump should take care of you. Goodbye. You're done. Goodbye. Thank you, you little bippy. Okay, now seriously, we have to get out of here. This is no time to be laying on your back hoops. We have to go now. Oh, there's a star piece in that bush. But no time to uh, uh, glorify it. Let's check all these bushes. You know, there's honestly not that much hurry. There's plenty of time for you to actually get out of this tree, to be honest with you. Let's open this door and run! Run, pretend like we're in a panic! Run! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so, we gotta get out of this tree because there's a remote time bomb detonator in here. I can't believe I remembered how to say that all at the same time. But I'm just gonna say I'm really crafty like that, so whatever. Let's run! Is this what you consider a running pace, Mario? Seriously, those still be a little legs, I think, you go a little bit faster than that. Oh wait, you don't have legs. No, just feet and a body. I wonder if Mario can get disability insurance or something. I don't know. Seems kind of sad living a life like this. Just feet and no legs. Heck. Okay, something I find pretty interesting. You actually don't have to get the punnies all the way over to the other side. 
to actually go into the next room where you actually need to be. However, I find it in my best interest to do so. I need Flurry out for this. Good thing is, the counter doesn't keep going while the, uh, you have your pause screen going, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'm just taking my time during this, though, because it's not really uh, that big of a deal. Come on, Plenio, you gotta go too, man. You gotta go. By the way, I love the iridescent feel on these bubbles. Actually, it looks pretty neat. No soldier gets left behind. You gotta move, man. You gotta move. Come on. Stop being the one that got away, okay? You cannot be the one that got away. Now go, stupid. You stupid head. You stupid... Okay. Uh, before you go into this room, switch to coops. You can thank me later. You can thank me later. Okay. Now... We're going to go ahead and heal ourselves because they give us the option to. And then we're going to save our progress right here, you little bippies. Because you really want to, trust me. Okay. Let's go! Huh? You won't be going any further this away. This away? What? What? Are you nuts? Look at your old geezer! What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? I like how he's shrieking. <laughs> you got no respect, Rack. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm real the Elder Power Activate! Whoa, what's your problem, Grandma? You got a ear hair tickling your brain or what? Oh, oh, what the? Ouch. Can't take another step. Oh. Er. One time for my stupid back to start the acting up. I like how the timer even is going on during this cutscene. You hot headed old coot. You dare to find me? I could shine my boots with you! Um, excuse us? Excuse us? What kind of word is excuse? We aren't going to let you leave, you big bully. You hand over that crystal star and get out of this tree. Yeah, get out! <laughs> you guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. With 56 seconds and 4 milliseconds to spare. Okay, you pests. One pump on coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. Say what? Breast knuckles? Awake, Magnus Von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy. <laughs> Say what? Um. What? 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 We're fighting a pink giant robot. What? Are you crying yet? Yeah. Sorry, this thing is an arm with tissues. But I think it were, because ex snods, you know, I mean, that's been the whole running joke throughout this chapter. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has that effect on people. Total weeping terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Yikes, that thing is strong. It hasn't even done anything yet, Coops. But I can't shake the feeling that there's something just not right about him. I don't think that's just the robot, Coops. I think that's just him. Be alert, okay? We can't let ourselves get careless. And so, this is the boss right here. 30 HP, Va Ma Magnus Von Grapple, I think it is? Yeah, Magnus. I don't know, it sounds like some kind of bad cartoon in the 80s or something. But anyways, you want to jump attack him and have Coops out for this battle. This will be very helpful. You don't want Flurry out because he's not our powered-up partner. This thing has one point of defense, so it won't be as strong as Coops. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Von Punish! What? Wow, what a cheesy looking attack. He just walks over and stomps on you. What? What? Are, I do that on a daily basis. I think I should know how to defend against that, seriously. Okay. So let's just go ahead and keep doing some standardized attacks right here. Nothing too stylish. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're gonna love it. This thing might not work out too well for you. I'm sure it will because it's gonna be pretty weak. Seriously, you're pink! You're pink for Pete's sake! Who thought that was a good paint job idea? Are you trying to prove something to me? Because it's not working. It's not working, man. It's not working. Okay, since I can't attack both of the fists right there, I'm pretty much going to have to ignore them completely. Even though I don't really like that idea, I think I have to. So the fists actually can do damage to you. Yes, not liking that. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna do some standard attacks on you. See if we can take you out really easily, hopefully. 
Uh, star? No. You suck. It had the same eyes. It had its eyes. Oh, those do four points of damage per hit? Wow. That's a lot. Okay. Ow. That hurt. Did not like that. Oh, Dried Shroom. Thank you, Punny. You're such... so helpful. I love you. No, not really. You're an ass. Um, is there any way I can attack all the opponents at once? I really would like that option. No? You just suck, don't you? Alright, fine. I'll get rid of your X-Fist. Yeah, such a clever name. No, not really. X-Fist. I wonder if the X is, like, stand for key or something, like in, uh, Kingdom Hearts or something. Oh, wow. I'm kind of getting low on the health here. Getting a little low. I'm going to take care of this other fist, though, because it's been doing quite a bit of damage. You're going to hand me another dry shroom? What? No? Okay. Cool beans. Two hate damn. Okay, seriously. Stop doing that. That's not cool. That is not cool. Don't like that. Um, let's go ahead and use that dried shroom that we got. Nah, uh, let's go ahead and use a super shroom. That should be good. I want to recover my HP this turn. Then next turn I'll use a power punch, and then I can attack him. I think that'd be a best, the, my best move. And he can actually shoot his hands back off. What the frick? Kind of like your mouth. You can shoot your mouth off quite well, and your hands apparently. Big bark for someone wearing pink. Seriously. Oh, don't knock Koops over again. Please don't knock Koops over. Ah! Freaking Koops. Freaking Koops, man. Freaking Koops. Koops. That's what I get for trusting Koops, man. That's what I get. Okay. Oh, I guarded against it. What? 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 Okay. I'm not going to become the little beeping sound, honestly. Um, let's see. I want to use a spin jump on him, I think. I think that'd be a good move. I'm not going to use the Power Punch, basically, because he's going to use that stupid Ground Pound move. And he's going to knock Koops over again, and I won't lose a turn. Oh, good! He's going to use the Stomping Attack. That way Koops can get up, finally. Thank God, I was getting annoyed by that. I was I was starting to mess up people's pizzas, you know, and they don't like that. I, I just found that out. People don't like it when you mess up people's pizzas, when you're annoyed. Okay, Power Punch. That should do two times the normal attack. You know what? You know what? I think I can take you out in this turn. I'm going to bet I can take you out in this turn. Oh! Two hits away. Grr, grr, not good. Can't last. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! Exactly two hits of damage. I did it. Blear! How could this be the end? I said that wrong. And 30 star points. Very nice. No, Magnus won't grapple. How good would lose? I'll remember this, losers. Lord Crumb summons us. Retreat, heads up, run away, wait up. There's always one, I swear. There's always one. We pulled it off, Mario. I can't believe it. Wow. You don't really have much faith in me, do you, Cubes? I don't even know why you hang out with me. They're gone. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. Yeah, you bet. All right there, Mario. Uh, celebration short-lived. You can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resides in this tree. Well, thank you very much, you little pippy. Ah! You got a crystal star from Mario. And you learned a special move, Clock Out. End of the chapter. Yay! This is the best thing that's ever happened! Woo! And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the exots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the great tree. The boggly woods echoed with the punny's songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile exots. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. So guys, that's going to end off this episode of Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this epic battle, please subscribe, favorite, like, or just comment. So I'll see you guys next time for more Paper Mario and the Millennium Door. Later, bitches!